Bitcoin mining. What is that and how does it work? Hey guys, do you love solving puzzles? If yes, this video is for you, as now you can get paid for solving puzzles. You might be thinking that we're insane, but have you ever heard of cryptographic hash puzzles? No? Don't worry, you'll learn about that in today's video. As in today's video, we're going to look into Bitcoin mining, how does Bitcoin mining work, and how much money can you make from it. So, without further delay, let's start out with the video. Bitcoin mining. So, precisely speaking, Bitcoin mining is a way of generating new Bitcoins by solving some cryptographic hash puzzles. It requires a computer equipped with specialized chips for solving mathematical problems. But how does it work? Here's your answer. Bitcoin mining cryptocurrency doesn't have a central register. Their strength comes from having what's called a distributed ledger. It's a blockchain. And the blocks in the blockchain contain details for every transaction in the currencies. As new transactions are done, they must be placed into blocks and added to the chain. A new block contains roughly 2,500 new transactions, and to validate the new block, each one contains the answer to the puzzle from the last block. Bitcoin mining basically releases new cryptocurrencies in the market. So, when we hear the term Bitcoin mining, the word miner also comes to our mind. But who is a miner? What's the job of a miner? A miner is a person with a computer that runs a mining program. The reason it's called mining is that, just like any other natural resource, there's a finite number of bitcoins. The maximum limit of bitcoins generated is 21 million. Till today, more than 12 million bitcoins are mined. Like real-world mining, you need to exert efforts to extract these bitcoins. The miner's PC needs to solve complex mathematical problems. Once it solves the puzzle or problem, new bitcoins are generated and awarded to him. The thing to understand here is that miners don't just generate new bitcoins. They also use their PCs for the verification of transactions and to prevent fraud. So, more miners means fewer fraud chances and faster transaction verifications. That's why these miners are paid for their hard work. When verifying a transaction, the miner gets a small fee out of the transaction for his work. So, miners get paid twice, for verification of transactions and again when they successfully generate new bitcoins. So, here's a list of things a miner should have to start bitcoin mining. Hardware graphics processing unit, solid state drive is known as SSD or ASIC called application specific integrated circuit mining. A software for mining such as Cryptex Miner, in your wallet, and lastly, a desired mining pool. Only if one chooses pool mining option instead of solo mining. Interestingly, the mining process is completely self-contained. Once all of these components have been installed and the system has been powered on, any further human participation is required in the event of the system of network failure, a power outage, or as a result of a routine system maintenance. Does this sound profitable? Well, not so fast. Bitcoin mining is tedious and requires a lot of patience and persistence. The founder of Bitcoin wanted Bitcoin to remain constant, that's why the difficulty of mining increases over time. In the year 2009, you could mine 200 Bitcoins with your personal computer at home. In 2014, it would take 98 years to mine just one Bitcoin. This is the reason ASIC miners were invented. These are super power and super fast computers designed just for Bitcoin mining purposes. But as many people are indulged in mining in the past few years, it's still impossible to mine alone. So what's the mining solution then? To solve this problem, mining pools were invented, meaning groups of miners interact with each other and deal with the growing difficulty of Bitcoin mining together. Afterwards, each miner gets paid their relative share. So that's how Bitcoin mining works. GPU mining. Besides ASIC and CPU, GPU mining was also introduced, which uses graphic cards. So, if you have a computer with a graphics card, you can use it to mine Bitcoin. Earning from Bitcoin mining. 
You must be wondering if Bitcoin mining is still worth it. Of course it is. Bitcoin mining may enable you to earn $1 to $42 or more per day. So it's still profitable if you invest in a powerful miner. Earning for Bitcoin mining also works as like for every block added to the blockchain by a miner, they will be rewarded with 6.25 Bitcoins. Every 4 years or every 210,000 blocks, the award value is reduced by half. When it started in 2009, it was 50 bitcoins over each block, but now it's only 6.25 bitcoins. In April 2022, the price of a bitcoin is over $40,000, making 6.25 bitcoins worth around $250,000. Yeah, that's quite a huge sum of the amount. As bitcoin's price has increased remarkably over the past few years, the activity has become more popular. But because of the cost and huge competition of other people, it's become difficult for individuals like us to start mining Bitcoin and make it worth our while. If you plan on mining, it's best to keep these four to five things in mind before proceeding. First is the cost of power. The second is efficiency. The third one is time. Fourth is profitability. And fifth is an investment in equipment. What does it mean to invest in equipment? Let us explain it to you. You need to invest in ASIC, CPU, or GPU miners. In the last two years, we've seen the prices of these computer parts skyrocket. GPU prices have gone through the roof and now cost at least $1,000 for a decent one. You may spend anywhere between a couple hundred to over $10,000 for just a basic mining rig. Here we would add a point that it can still cost someone over $10,000 to start Bitcoin mining. So jump into this with thorough research. Hence, you have to ask yourself, is it worth the investment? And if you do plan to invest, one good thing about this is that your parts are always in demand. If you ever want to sell your rig, you can make your money back, unless the resale market for those items falls. Then you're screwed if that initial upfront cost seems too daunting. At the end of our video, we would like to give you guys a motivating young example of earning $54,000 a year through Bitcoin mining. Forget about the Bitcoin billionaires, but see how this young boy named Nick Sears is earning by it. Nick Sears, 19, of Dallas Sport, Washington, chose Bitcoin over college when he was 17 and helped create a Bitcoin mining farm in his hometown. Now, he makes $54,000 a year. The 19-year-old lives inside the data center he helped build at 17. ASICs generate 80 decibels of noise each in the hydro-powered facility. But Sears said he's adjusted to the whirling. Sears, who has been learning how to operate and repair Bitcoin mining equipment since he was 17, values his expertise in electronics and soldering over a university degree. But it wasn't easy. Since everything is in place, he's agreed on an 8-4 to four workday. Then he stays on site in case of an emergency. A technician performs the night shifts, allowing Sears to sleep. Sears appreciates the variety of his new full-time employment. Sears must be vigilant due to the huge stakes of Bitcoin mining. He claimed troubleshooting is routine. Sears works at Skate Ventures Mining Plant along with Columbia River and the Dallas Dam. The startup uses cheap, sustainable hydroelectricity to power Bitcoin mining devices. Sears receives an annual salary of around $54,000 from Scott Bennett, including full health insurance coverage. The CEO also revealed he maintains exclusive mining rigs for his employees, which yield a quarterly bonus of around 0.02 bitcoins. So, that's all from today's video. What do you guys think about this video? Please share your reviews in the comments section below and let us know what you think. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Stay tuned as we'll be coming up with much more new and exciting videos about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Till then, goodbye.